intentional about how you go about this because this is a legacy you're creating. This is generational. This could be a generational blessing. This could be a generational curse. Welcome seekers of insight and wisdom to Wasted Traditions Tarot where the veil between the seen and unseen is lifted. I'm thrilled to embark on this journey with you, exploring the mystical realms of the tarot. Join me as we uncover the hidden messages, unravel the mysteries, and navigate the pathways of possibilities together. So I will shuffle the cards after I give you my channel messages. I encourage you to open your hearts and embark on this magical voyage of self-discovery and enlightenment with me. Welcome to a realm where the whispers of the cards illuminate the path ahead. I'm Tiffany, your friendly, intuitive tarot reader. Let's get started. Thank you so much for joining me. This is a collective reading. It will not resonate with everyone, so I encourage you, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. This is our collective reading for the full moon in Sagittarius, <clears throat> also known as the flower moon. Now, because I am in North America on the East Coast, for those of you in my area, in my region, this full moon in Sagittarius, the flower moon, will rise at 9.53 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on May 23rd. And we will feel the effects of this full moon in Sagittarius uh, from May 23rd up until around May 25th, everyone will feel it. It will be more powerful for some than others. It'll be quite subtle, but you will notice a difference, especially if you are tuning in to what the universe needs you to know. So this full moon in Sagittarius, right? This is going to be quite powerful. And with this I have a card from the Moonology deck, and it says, look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture for the full moon in Sagittarius, right? So as I channeled, um, I, I received quite a few messages. Again, take what resonates and leave the rest. So the first thing that came through was blue water. Um, so with this, I felt like some of you, for some of you in the collective, you will be taking a cruise. Um, this blue water also symbolizes to me um, tranquility and truth, intuition, oneness with the universe, okay? Um, wisdom and emotion, definitely wisdom with the King of Swords popping up here in this reading, okay? The collective, God, the universe. Um, and, and as far as emotionally for some of you, this is dealing with matters of the heart, the feelings that you are having currently, those energetic, emotional feelings that you are um, getting at this time, again, for the full moon in Sagittarius, right? So, also, I got relief. For some of you, this is going to be a time to ease the pain and distress and anxiety. That is the definition of relief, ease of pain, distress, anxiety. So, what I'm feeling is, for someone, it's uh, there's something weighing on you, but a victory is coming towards you, what I feel. You will have a chance to, to breathe again. Um, you're exhaling, you're getting your groove back, <laughs> right? Definitely. So this is, this is quite an emotional time for someone out there viewing this. And believe me, if you are watching this, you were meant to come here and get this message so that you can understand the possibilities, the energies at play and what is moving toward you. Right. So also next I got not your story. I clearly actually heard that not your story. So what I'm led to share with you, what happened to them isn't happening to you. 
you're no longer living and doing what others expect of you. For some of you, I feel like there are manipulation, manipulative energies at play surrounding someone. They're expecting you to do and be and live as they instruct you and try to manipulate your, your emotions to get you to do what they want you to do, right? But you're no longer going to be living or doing what others expect of you. You're going to forge your own path, right? An outcome that is unique to you and no one else. That's why whatever looks like something you're going through, you see something that has happened to a friend, a coworker, a family member, loved one, whatever, that's not your story. It may look similar, but that's not your story. That's not your path. That is not your outcome. Okay, this is unique to you and no one else. It's for your benefit, right? Um, next, I got standards. So standards, it's setting the bar. You have to set a standard, setting the bar, creating a foundation. When they go low, you go high, right? Your character, um, your morals, how you treat yourself, how others are to treat you. You set that standard by how you treat yourself and that is the expectation that you have for how others are to treat you. That is the line. That is the boundary. That is setting the boundary, setting the standard. Um, you have unwavering morals and character, right? You're not easily influenced. You are a leader. For some of you, I feel like you're being drawn into a leadership role um, within your community or even on the job. So, be mindful of that. Lastly, I got the number five. Five days, five weeks, or five months. There's a shift happening. There's a change happening. This change and what's coming towards you, for some of you, this will last for five generations. So I want you to be mindful about what it is you're doing, what it is you're put, putting out in the world. With this eight of pentacles, this is the work you're putting in. So five generations here, what I'm getting... That what you're doing now will have a lasting effect for five generations. So it's up to you to make sure that the energy you're putting out there, the work you're putting out there is something of value, something of positive, uh, loving energy because it will affect your family for five generations to come. Now, how it affects them is up to you is what I'm getting. This, If you put out good, you get back good. You put out not so good, you're going to get back not so good. And that not so good will affect the next five generations of your family. For some of you, I'm led to share that with you. Um, this is with this number five. I got the glass is half full. You have you have an optimistic outlook. Um, someone is expecting, this is not for everyone, but someone is expecting their fifth child. Okay, so take that how that resonates. There's something that is coming to a completion. Something's ending right now with this five and there's a new beginning is what I'm getting. There is change coming. Um, your resources are, are shifting as well. What I'm getting with this number five, there's a, there's a sort of freedom that is coming towards some of you with this number five. You're being released from something with this shift, this change that I'm getting. Okay. Um, and I feel like someone is seeing a, a lot of spiders in their home. Someone is seeing a lot of spiders in them in their home this year. They've never seen that many spiders in their home in all the time they've been there. So if you're seeing spiders around your home, in and around your home, a lot more than you usually do. This is symbolizing some creativity, patience, and balance. This is symbolizing something um, you're moving toward your destiny. You are protected. There is some unseen danger, but you are protected. There's uh, The spiders also symbolize good luck and fortune, connectedness, like the web. Everything is connected. There's connectedness. There Again, there's resources. If you're seeing all of these spiders all of a sudden, and it's and you're reminded with this with seeing these spiders persevere. There's perseverance that you carry and you can see things through. So lastly, the significance of this flower moon, it's going to be an abundance of blooming all around as spring starts to ramp up because this is just that time of year. So not just the plants and flowers and animals, there's abundance of blooming within you with that shift that, that I um, was feeling. There's an abundance of blooming with you. So be sure to look at the big picture, right? Look at the big picture. Take it all in. 
um, be mindful of what's going on because that that getting that big picture, that vision, you have the King of Swords here. And so this is this is timely for you uh, with this flower moon, this full moon in Sagittarius. We also have the Three of Pentacles showing up in the reading for the collective, okay? So what I'm feeling with this, this is absolutely a time for collaboration. This is possibly the shift that you need to get something moving, right? To get something moving because you are working diligently at something. And again, being mindful that whatever it is you're putting out there, this is going to affect your family for the next five generations. So the positive, the high vibes, the the raised frequency of your soul, sharing those kind of gifts with the world, this will have an impact on your family for five generations to come. <clears throat> so let's get some clarification with these tarot cards, right? Drop in the comments below. Are you expecting your fifth child? Because that was very prominent while I was um, conscious channeling. A fifth child for some of you out there. And that's exciting. That's the blooming. That's the expansion. That's the coming alive and bringing a new into the world at this time of year during the flower moon. Okay, so let's... Okay, Spirit, thank you. And here we have the moon showing up. Mm -hmm. Strength, all right. That's the perseverance with the... If you're seeing a whole bunch of spiders, um, that's abnormal for you. You don't normally see that many spiders. But this year, for some reason, you're seeing a ton of them. So that's that perseverance with that strength card. One more spirit. We're looking at the big picture here with the guidance from spirit through tarot during this full moon in Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. The death card. That is the shift. That is the change. That is the renewal, right? So being mindful... We have the death card clarifying the eight of pentacles. And so we understand that with the death card, there are transformations, there are transitions, there are new beginnings. So again, whatever it is you're working on, you're transitioning and transforming these ideas that you have um, into something new, a new beginning, because something old is falling away. With this full moon, it's time to let go of things that no longer serve you. And we have the death card showing up to remind you of that. To release those things, those people, and those places that no longer serve you. Get rid of the dead weight. The energy that is not conducive to the elevation of your soul, of your life. And knowing that while you're going through this transformation, while you're stepping into this new beginning, right? Being absolutely intentional about how you go about this because this is a legacy you're creating. This is generational. This could be a generational blessing. This could be a generational curse. And it's up to you to be mindful of how you move forward with this new beginning, this transition, right? And we have the strength card <clears throat> clarifying the three of pentacles, okay? So with the strength card, we know exact that is absolutely strength. That is perseverance. That is courage to walk into and step into this new beginning. That is courage to release the things that no longer serve you. Because when we are releasing things that no longer serve us, sometimes we get uncomfortable. And when you're uncomfortable, that is where the growth can happen, right? With this strength card. Okay, um, there is... With it clarifying the three of pentacles, the strength card clarifying the three of pentacles, this is you making progress in what it is you're working on with this eight of pentacles. This is you making progress, that three of pentacles, right? And then having the strength card to clarify this, it's absolutely imperative that you stay encouraged, stay courageous in what it is you're working on. Um, not everyone understands or sees the vision that you have in front of you, and that's okay because they were not called to this meeting. This is a vision just for you. Again, like I said with my channeled messages, 
that is not your story. Whatever failures or or trials someone else has had, that is not your story, beloved human. So take that how that resonates. You have a different path to walk. Stay encouraged. Stay courageous. Uh, stand firm in your strength, right? And then with the moon clarifying the king of swords, which is very interesting, right? Because... You are no longer under the illusion of the manipulation that someone has been trying to use on you very diligently. You have the clarity that you you need with this uh, King of Swords. You have the um, intellect, the the authority over your life, and so this the fear mongering that this individual has been trying to put on you about what it is you're moving forward with and how you're working on something very diligently that will absolutely bring legacy to your family for generations to come with a minimum of five generations, but absolutely it could stretch longer than that. So the King of Swords cuts through the bullshit. It cuts through the illusion that comes with this uh, moon card. It cuts through the mystery. You have more clarity on what it is you're working on. Um, you have a clear path forward on how to move this process along with this project, with this with this um, idea, with this product even. You could be physically, some of you could be physically inventing something to take to market and therefore that is successful and that is the generational legacy. That is the generational wealth that you are setting uh, into action for these generations to come. And also with the King of Swords, Sagittarius, uh, full moon and Sagittarius get the big picture. That's absolutely what the King of Swords is doing. Seeing truth, right? Seeing all of it to make sure the story and understanding is complete. That is what the King of Swords is doing here, right? So it's absolutely aligning with what we have going on. <clears throat> Let's get some more information. Let's get some advice from Spirit on how the collective should move during this time of full moon in Sagittarius, the flower moon, and getting the big picture, being mindful to put out good, to receive good, and create the legacy that is powerful and um, meaningful for generations to come in your family. Spirit, do tell what is the advice for the beloved humans in this collective reading. What else do we need to know at this time? Divine Spirit, do tell. Building your world, creation, expansion, networking. Perfect, timely. Mm -hmm. Very, very timely is what what we're getting from spirit okay let's go okay did you want me to take that okay okay all right so initially we have building your world creation expansion networking that is you that is you building your world this with the three of pentacles and then the Eight of Pentacles, you are building your world, you are creating something, and your world that will be here after you, those generations to come, you are building that legacy here, right? So this is confirmation, creation, expansion, networking. That is where that is where the expansion comes in, right? The expansion comes in with the death card because something is transforming. You are creating something new, a new beginning, right? And then with, hold on. Okay, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. the, the trans, the expansion and creating something new, that creates a healing in your lineage. That's starting to heal some, some trauma in your family line. This expansion, you... You are the healer of your family. You have been called to change the story. You have been called to be a chain breaker. You have been called to rewrite the legacy is what I'm feeling with this. You have been called to heal that legacy, to move forward in a positive manner. 
long, even after you're long gone and have transitioned into the next part of your soul's evolution. And then we have healing earth, the power to give and receive healing. Okay, so that is why I needed to back up because this is healing earth, just re reaffirming, confirming the healing of the work that you're doing. It's a healing of your legacy, your family's line, right? This is confirming that, okay? Because you are you are here to be a chain breaker. You are here to start a new. You are here to uh, create a new legacy, right? It's the end of a traumatic cycle for your family is what I'm he feeling with this healing earth, okay? It's the end of a traumatic cycle. So you, beloved human, have the power to give and receive healing. You are going to give your family the healing that it so desperately needs, right? And you will receive just as much as you give. You will receive just as much healing as you give, okay? That's beautiful. You, That is amazing that you hold this mantle. For some of you, you've already felt the call of being the healer, um or the sage of your family, you've already felt that calling. But for some of you, it's going to become really apparent during this full moon in Sagittarius, during this flower moon. You you are going to bloom into what you have been called to do just for your family. That, that healer, that sage, the wise one, right? That is what I'm feeling, and I'm glad to share that with some of you. And so... From the um, spirit animal oracle, we have wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Turn knowledge into wisdom. The knowledge you hold and carry with this king of swords, seeing clearly, having the knowledge and the truth um, with you. Turn it into wisdom. That intelligence that you carry, turn it into wisdom. And what is wisdom? Wisdom is knowledge applied. You have to apply this action. So you have you have the knowledge. You have the intelligence. Now take action. What you're doing here with the pentacles, the three and eight of pentacles, taking action to turn it into wisdom. Knowledge applied is wisdom. So with the wolf spirit, turn your knowledge into wisdom. You have you have knowledge of your family's history. And so because of that knowledge that you have of the family's history, you're going to take action and the wisdom from your soul will be released to built will be released to you because you are called to be the healer of your family. You are called to be the wise one. Wisdom. You are called to be the wise one of your family, the sage right? The shaman, the medicine woman, medicine man, whatever. You are called to be that leader, that spiritual leader, that mystical leader in your family to change the tra tra trajectory of your family's history to create a legacy that is lasting with positive outcomes that is cured from whatever has ailed your family line previously for decades, right? So you're going to turn your knowledge into wisdom. And with that, you're creating a whole new foundation for your family, a whole new, uh, a whole new path. There is, there is cohesion coming to your family. Excuse me. There is stability coming to your family where you are more uh, on a collective level of moving your family forward is what I'm feeling with this wolf, this wolf spirit, right? The stability, creating that new foundation, manifesting the legacy, manifesting the legacy you have been charged to create, right? You're manifesting that with this wolf spirit because you're using your knowledge. You're taking action with the knowledge and intelligence that you have, and it creates wise decisions, wise counsel, wise um wise movements forward, wise of uh, taking a path that you understand more readily, right? Because of the wisdom that is being released to you, 
this is this is a beautiful reading just understanding that this is a time to expand this is a time to to bloom getting the big picture the flower moon the flower moon is an active time of blooming blooming is expanding your footprint right as the flowers bloom you start to see them everywhere everywhere right and so you are expanding with this flower moon you are blooming into that wise one you are blooming into your family's healer shaman sage medicine man woman right you are blooming into the leader that you have been meant to be with this strength card and the king of swords you are blooming into this under this flower moon so again on may 23rd feeling the effects ramp up but lasting noticeably lasting until the 25th of may with this full moon in sagittarius all right beloved i do hope this has resonated with you uh please take what does resonate leave the rest for someone else you were absolutely meant to see this absolutely meant to see this you can persevere you are persevering seeing these spiders all around where you've never seen that many spiders on every day every other day this is a sign to you that you are protected you are guided you are being um moved out the way from unseen dangers right because sometimes when we feel like a door closes oh that's the end of a no that is you being protected divinely guided when that door closes because that is an unseen danger to you 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 might want it so bad or even believe that you need it you know but that door had to close because there's a danger that you can't see but your angels ancestors and spirit guides are protecting you and guiding you in a path that is more conducive to where you are meant to be, to where your destiny will lead you, to where your destiny will absolutely lead you. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Um, take care of yourself and your family. I am sending you supreme love, light, and abundance. I will see you soon. Until then, bye.